Hello, I'm Roger Smith in Chillicothe, Ohio, and this is the fourth in a series of video reports on my large Tesla coil. Last time I promised I was going to increase the value of the capacitor in my primary circuit, and I've done that now, and, and here we are, and I'm going to show you what I did and show you the results. Okay, here it is. Uh, uh, remember, all I had before was the the four Maxwell capacitors and the uh, series parallel arrangement. But now you can see I've added uh, another capacitor. Uh, it's a 0.01, and I added it in parallel with the with the others. Uh, it's rated at 50,000 volts. Uh, it's, uh, it seems to hold up okay. Uh, it's a good uh, energy storage capacitor. Uh, I just got it kind of crudely hooked up right now. I need to get a little better wiring for that. Uh, so it has a little more direct connection to it. Now that, that increases my capacitance from 0 0.04 microfarads to 0 0.05 microfarads. Uh, of course that, that affects the tuning of the coil. Uh, what I ended up doing, I had another secondary handy, which was my my old secondary, as you remember, one you saw here before was wound with number 22 gauge wire. Uh, this is another secondary. Everything's the same except it's wound with number 24 gauge wire, so it's it's a uh, lower resonant frequency. So with that secondary. Uh, I just about work out the same on my tuning with this adding this new capacitor. Uh, before I was tapped off at 11 turns on the primary, I did have to move out one. I'm at the 12 turns now, so that's the last turn. Oops. <laughs> there we go. That's the last turn on my primary coil. I've made two videos of the Tesla coil running. One before I made any changes the way it was the last time you saw it. And another one with the extra capacitor in the primary circuit and with the, with the other secondary. Uh, I'm going to show you both video clips, and uh, the first one you'll see is uh, the way it was before. Okay, here goes. Okay, now here's the second video clip uh, of the Tesla coil running with the added capacitor. Okay, here we go again.
You probably noticed in that second video that the, the arcs were much brighter uh, than in the first video. Uh, and a lot, well, possibly longer, like I said, uh, uh, kind of limited for space in here, but uh, you just have bright arcs that they go from the toroid out to hitting different objects and uh, the, the arc is just white bright the whole length. Uh, you don't have the, the streamer effect as much. Uh, definitely a lot more energy there. Uh, a lot more than what I would have thought considering that uh, uh, you would think the extra capacitor would translate to about a 20% increase in power, uh, but it looks looks more than that. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, there are other factors involved here, but uh, I haven't changed anything in the power supply part of the circuit. Uh, uh, it's still running off of two microwave oven transformers and same voltage doubler circuit, same charging choke, and all that. None of that's changed. The only thing I've changed is what I showed you. So, increasing the primary capacitance and, and this other secondary coil, and then retuning. Uh, but it's, it's quite a dramatic difference. So, uh, it just goes to show you, you got to experiment with different things. Uh, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, uh, we'll be back again with something else.